Hey, <laughs> her, everybody. Uh, um, this is, uh, um, I guess another update video talking about everything that's kind of going on, answering a couple of questions I've been getting, uh, how I met Josh and the status of that relationship and our plans for the future or whatnot. I wasn't going to make this video, but I like talking about him, so I'm going to anyway, and whatever, 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 I don't care. Brings me joy, so I'm going to do it. Um, I'm not going to give away every detail, obviously, but I will fill you in a bit because so many people have been asking, and it's just kind of, I mean, I do like talking about him, but just kind of typing it, you know, is, is a bit, uh, and it's, I don't really have the mindset to talk to anybody lately or type to anybody. I just want to talk to him. So I kind of, I don't want to be rude to people. So I can just kind of direct them at this video. That way I don't have to, <laughs> I don't have to talk to people. Anyway, um, so as you guys know, things haven't been so great in the marriage for a while. Uh, I wasn't looking for anybody. Haven't been looking for anybody. It's been nothing like that. People have talked to me, try to hit me up. It hasn't worked. I haven't been interested. I haven't wanted it. I haven't allowed myself to even try to feel that way. I haven't wanted to feel that way because, you know, oh, I'm like rough. Um, my, I still love, loved Logan and I wasn't going to disrespect him like that. So, um, it was nothing like that. And then, um, you know, we started talking, we had a couple of divorce talks, quite a few, and we we both knew it was counting down to that and it was going to happen. And we kind of started living separate lives in a way, like more than we were before. And so I guess by the time I met Josh, we had already been kind of on the outs and not really not sleeping together, not doing anything together. And it was just kind of more like roommates. And we both agreed on this. And um, again, I, I still wasn't looking at, at all. And I had a couple of guys talking to me and it was just, I didn't feel anything. Like there was no spark. There was nothing to make me sit up and take notice. I mean, even one guy, we were really the same. Like we liked the same shit. We had the same favorite books and he read and I read and same kind of music. And you know, he wore makeup and he was all alternative and all that. But I just, I don't know. It just wasn't there. I just, it just wasn't there and I couldn't make it be there. It just, it wasn't meant to be. And I couldn't, um, Logan's always been my number one anyway. So there was just no, nobody else for me, I guess. And, um, I had noticed this guy popping up on my feed and he said the nicest comments, you know, like really sweet, respectful stuff. Um, not like, Hey, beautiful. Hey, sexy. Hey, gorgeous. It was none of that. Oh, I love your tits. Love your body. It was just, you know, keep up the good work. Keep it up. You're doing a good job. And, you know, just kind of encouraging nice things. And I started seeing this picture pop up and I, I clicked on it. And uh, it's just a guy just sitting there. Big fucking smile on his face. And he just looked so friendly. And so happy it just instantly gave me like a real warm feeling. Like, you know, sometimes you, you talk to somebody, you see somebody and you, you just get this really good feeling from them. It was like that. And for other people, it's been the same, but opposite. Like I've met them and I've instantly felt real bad. Like, Oh, this is a horrible person to be around. People think that about me all the time, apparently. But, um, I just got such a warm, nice feeling from him. I would go to his profile and check out his profile sometimes and look at his picture and like, you know, I really like, I really like his smile and he was single. So I wrote to him and I said, you know, I really love seeing your smile light up my feet or my wall or something like that. And he wrote back and he said, thank you. No conversation there. He didn't really have anything to say to me. Oh, let's see. He wrote me real quick. <laughs> Sorry about that. I heard my, my messenger go ding and this is about the time he gets off work. So, you know, I'd have to stop the video and go talk to him. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, he just said thanks and that was about it. We didn't talk and I got embarrassed. I was like, man, cause I don't ever write anybody first. I'm like, oh, I put myself out there and he didn't really say anything to me. I'm going to just forget that ever happened. And I deleted the messages and then, um, 
I was posting bitching about people being, you know, assholes and perverts and all this shit. And um, he wrote to me and said something like, guys, really that much of an asshole? Or are they really that bad that you have to make videos like that? And I said, yeah. And um, I know we started talking like he had left a comment on my um, one of my videos asking for my YouTube or saying that he'd love to see my no, no. He wrote and he said, I love the way that you said bye and you kept talking for like 5.5 minutes later and you guys all know that I do that. I'll be like, all right, I'm leaving now. Take care. And then it'll be like another fucking, that'll be halfway through the video because I just, I just keep talking. It's just, I don't know, it's something I do. And I, I laughed and I said, oh, I take, you haven't seen my YouTube then because that's all I do. And he says, no, but I would love to. I was like, all right. And I, I linked him and I said, well, if you really want to get to know me, here's two videos and I linked him to um, my bullying video and the story of my life because those are the two where you can really get inside my head. And most people will not sit through them because they're so long. People bitch, oh, your videos are too long. And I thought that would happen. But then he messaged me and he was watching them like right then because he was giving me like a kind of commentary kind of questions and, and stuff. And I was like, wow, he actually cares enough to watch them now. He wasted like two fucking hours sitting there watching both of them. And talking to me and we got along really well like our conversation was fucking excellent it was like I'd known him my whole life and we talked 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 and then he said um I I started feeling something for him like it was it was right away and um I I was like I like you like I was tired so I had like no filter I was like I really like you I like you and he's like oh I like you too. You know, it was just kind of odd. And I said, I hope I didn't freak you out or anything, did I? And he's like, kind of. And I was like, oh, I did it again. Didn't I learn from the last time? Fucking hell. And I was just like, all right. And he's like, well, I have to go to bed. I have to go to work. And I was like, all right, all right, all right. And deleted those messages. And I'm like, I'm not writing this guy again. I keep sticking my fucking face in it or sticking my foot in it and embarrassing myself. I am not going to go there anymore. And I wasn't gonna, but then he popped back up like an hour later and he said, I can't sleep. And I think you've got something to do with it. And I was like, Ooh, really? <laughs> what does that mean? And I was like, confused because I, I thought that I had just weirded him out and he was complimenting me. And, um, we just, we kind of cleared that up and then we were talking and talking and he was just so fucking easy to talk to and so nice. And nowadays I can't really hold a conversation. I've mentioned this many times. I don't message people because I've got nothing to say. I've got maybe one conversation, if that, and I've got nothing to say. And he brought out the old me, like the person who never runs out of shit to say. It was amazing. And I asked him, you wouldn't want to do a video chat or something, would you? And um, he's like, sure, you know, just let me know when. And I was like, cool. And so I let him know when I was able to talk and then um, we we video chatted. I think before that I'd sent him a voice message and he sent me a voice message and I was kind of like weirded out because I always say this to him. He sounds like a big black guy. Like he writes so intelligently and I just, I hear it in my voice or someone that sounds like me, but he sounds like a big black guy, like, like someone that would beat your fucking ass. You know what I mean? Like. I was like, whoa, that doesn't sound like the same person. And I kind of got scared for a minute. Like, am I talking to the wrong person thinking that it's him and it's, it's somebody else? But no, it was him. And um, we video chatted. And see, like, I thought he was hot from his picture. Not my type at all, but really hot. I mean, the smile. I didn't even know he had colored eyes. And he told me, he's like, I've got, like, icy blue, bright blue eyes. And I was like, ooh, I love blue eyes. And he sent me a picture and his eyes were fucking bright like I think actually brighter than Logan's they pretty much got the same eyes I'd have to see him in person to know if they're identical to Logan's or not but they're they're they might be a tad bluer Logan's I don't know I, I can't really tell because they're not live but very similar beautiful blue eyes and I was like whoa and then it turned out he had long hair he said and I was like I didn't expect that because in the picture it looks like he has really short hair and I love long hair. And I was like, damn, <laughs> okay. So this list is starting to build up with the things I like about this guy. And um, when we video chatted, he had his hair up, which I hate. I hate guys 
that wear the hair up. And I hate guys that have long hair and wear the hair up. And girls, because it's like, why have long hair if you're always going to tie it back? And I think I said something like that. And he took his hair down to show me. He said that he hated having his hair down because he didn't like, like how frizzy it was or whatever. And I was expecting like this really gross frizzy hair, like my hair or something, like dead fucked hair. And um, his hair is beautiful. Like it's just kind of like this kind of skater hair. And it's just a free flowing, fucking gorgeous, full head of hair. And um, it's like kind of like this light brown, uh, almost my real color hair. And uh, it's just like got this light skin and this like these fucking clear, clear blue eyes. And then like long hair like down to here-ish or something. Longer than mine anyway. Beautiful fucking hair. And I was just like, wow, you are actually really fucking hot. I didn't think he was going to be hot like that. I thought, you know, he was... He was hot from his picture, but I didn't think he was going to be on a whole other level. And he was. And I was just like, oh my God, you are not going to see me. I didn't let him see me for a while. I, I still don't really like letting him see me. Even though I'm on camera like this all the time, I don't like letting him see me. So he's, he, I think he's seen me like a handful of times maybe. And, but I video with him all the time. I see him every single day. And um, our conversation picked up. And... Every time we talk, I'd say we talk minimum might be five hours, but I'm thinking it's closer to rounding it to eight hours uh, up to around 12-ish hours. When we say bye, we usually stay on for another two hours or something like that because we can't bear to hang up. And when, when it comes time to hang up, he looks like his best friend's just died. Like his whole face falls and he's just like, like he gets so sad, so, so sad. And, um... It's just amazing, like, I mean, it's it's completely different from Logan. Like, like I love Logan in a different way. Um, Like, we, you know, we don't have anything in common. We never had, like, a big bond or anything like that. It was just, we had shit we went through. Who knows how long we would have stayed together. We both agree that um, we probably were together as long as we were because the choice was kind of taken away from us, like, he was taken from me and then with the bullying and we had shit to prove to people. My fucking tailbone is killing me. Um, you know, who knows if we had uh, a chance to kind of do it on our own terms, how long we would have lasted. There's no way of knowing. Don't think it would have been this long, but, you know, I mean, there's love there, but it's not like this. Josh is... I, I always tell him, you're me in a boy body. Like, he writes like me. He talks like me. He expresses himself like me. He's not as crude as I am as far as I've seen when he's written back to Lol Cow and shit. He's, uh, he's not as over the top as I am, but he's very, very good with his words and very intelligent. And um, I'm probably going to... Uh, I was going to say, I'll probably embarrass him by saying this or writing or reading this, but... He doesn't get embarrassed, so he posts all over my wall. He leaves his comments for everybody to see. He likes people knowing. I like people knowing. He defends me. He's always on the lookout. He's interactive on my page and in my life and everything, and that's what I need. That's what I need in my life. That's the kind of relationship I've been looking for. No offense to Logan. That's just not who he is, but I, I really needed somebody to be there for me like this because my life is online and to be online and be alone and have to field all the bullying and all the bullshit by yourself it fucking sucks it sucks for both sides because logan did not like it and i did not like it and we did not like it together um so for example uh i left a status about the relationship and people disrespecting me oh sorry <laughs> because um I get, I'm getting like all of these guys that are pissed off at me saying like, I didn't know you were in the market. I loved you. I wish that it could have been me. Oh, I wish I had known. And it's like, it wouldn't have mattered if you knew, or even if I was on the market because I'm not interested. I haven't been interested. It takes a really special person to get inside my head. I'm not just going to go after the first pretty face. And especially at this point in my life, this is four failed marriages for me now. Failed for whatever reason, whether it be me or the other person. It's always been the other person, except for this time. This time is mutual. Um, 
but you know I don't know like oh god sorry <laughs> um I forgot what I was saying um yeah four failed mar marriages and um I'm not looking for just another pretty face just a, a little gothic boy to play with or or whatever I I need someone who can handle being in a relationship that this is probably the first real adult relationship I think I've ever been in. And that's really sad to say, but I kind of, I kind of think that's actually what it is. Um, because I've always been so shallow. I've gone for looks only looks over personality. And I've, I've been, had my ass handed to me because of it. This time I went for his personality first and everything else fell into place after it. And I could see myself having a wonderful life with him. And he's just so expressive. He he reassures me every day, all day long. Anytime I feel bad, he's there for me. Like, he's already my rock in my shoulder. And I haven't even met him in person yet. So, this comment he left me on my page is fucking beautiful. He said, um, Me and Raven are meant for each other. Our conversations are never dull. We always have something to talk about and are not afraid of showing our true emotions on a daily basis. Her true fans and followers have done nothing but support us, and it feels absolutely amazing. Yet there are some who come along and disrespect us both quite blatantly. I didn't know you were on the market, and you should be with me are actually pretty common these days, but it doesn't get to me like they think it might. It's true that I do stand up for her and have absolutely no problem telling whoever comes at us in a disrespectful way that she's mine and I'm hers. I don't care who it is. Anyone who has a problem with one of us definitely has a problem with the other automatically. There will always be people like that who really don't respect one or the other of us, and I will always be there to put them in their place. Life's funny sometimes. I never thought that I would meet someone as honest, loyal, forthcoming, and as sweet as Raven Sparks. She certainly is as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. In three months, we will be able to start our new lives together. We can't wait, but we are both going to because we both know what we want, and we both do love and care for each other. We are the same on so many levels, and it's truly refreshing to connect with someone like we connect with each other. A breath of fresh air. She has come into my life and is here to stay. We both respect each other fully, and respect does go a long way. Once again, to all the people who support us, thank you for the kind words. They are not easily forgotten. I love you, Raven, so much, and I'm prepared for any problem that may come our way. As long as I have you, I have everything. I will never stop respecting you and loving you. As long as we are together, we can do anything. And I was like, oh my fucking God, that is fucking beautiful. And I said, Jesus Christ, as if I needed another reason to love you, this has got to be the most beautiful comment I've ever read. It could have been me that wrote it. You sound just like me. You think just like me. You love just like me. You're in my world. I love you to death. We're going to be together forever. Nothing could ever take me away from you. And he goes, I won't let you be taken from me. And I was like, oh, snap. Damn. <laughs> Damn. That's what I like. That. He's just so, he is sure of himself. He's just like, no, I love you. I have everything. You are everything I've ever wanted. And he's just like, I can't believe I'm with you. I can't believe you gave me the time of day. And I'm like, I feel the same for you. You know, I'm, I'm nothing special. I'm just me. And I mean, I can't believe that he, he feels the same way. And the way he writes is exactly the way I write. It's just like, what the fuck, you know? And I'm thinking, have I finally, after all this time, found my my true other half? Like, the true one I'm supposed to be with? I know it sounds stupid considering I've failed at so many relationships or had so many relationships fail. But this is, this is different. It's really different. And uh, I'm still kind of coping with it in a way. It's, it's strange. The whole situation is strange because, you know, my husband still lives here. Um... We're in the process of moving out and separating. He's going to go to his mom's. I'm going to go to my ex-husband's. I have support from my husband. My husband likes Josh. Logan likes Josh. Josh likes Logan. Logan's going to come visit us. And we're all going to like go road tripping together probably and go see the sights and, and do shit together. Um, my ex-husband supports me. I, I've got support from all corners. It's strange. It's like, guys, husband's willing to like, work with each other, like each other, work with me just so that I have a good life. And it's like, wow, that's pretty special. That's a pretty special and really amazing feeling. It really is. 
Um, I am extremely fucking fortunate in that regard. And uh, I, I will never forget it. Um, moving is really fucking scary. What's in the cards for us is we're aiming for three months for me to go over there. Um, the big problem is getting money for a ticket. So that's why we're separating so that we don't have rent and shit like that to pay for. Logan is going to try to help me. He's going to help me buy the ticket. I'm going to be selling like my bed and things like that and, and saving my own money. And we're hoping that we can get the ticket fairly quickly. Then it's, I'm going to be saving it for spending money, try to make it over there right after my birthday. And, um, um, gonna live with him and um, we're probably gonna get married so not probably this is I'm gonna live with him and I don't want to lose him he doesn't want to lose me I'm marrying him so I don't care if you guys think I shouldn't get married again I'm doing it I'm gonna do it and uh, it's gonna be wonderful and um, he's just he's changed my life already um, I know him so well, like I really do. I, I, I know him a lot better than people think I do. We know each other a lot, a lot more than people think we do. And, um, I, I don't think I've ever had this feeling before. I know for a fact, I've never had support like this before. I've never had somebody be there for me like this before. I've, I've never had this before ever. And so it's, it's a whole new feeling for me and it's indescribable and I don't know, like it's weird because I, I know a couple of people in person here, not many, a few. And so far I've run into my tattoos not doing so good up there. I probably shouldn't have picked that. Um, I've run into one, two three, five people that know me in person in real life. One, uh, one of them is my ex-husband. One of them is Logan. I included them cause you know, cause they both said this to me. And then there's this girl that works at EB games. And then there's this other couple that I know. And every single person that has seen me has said that I look so happy, so much happier. And I'm like tripping out because I didn't think I looked that miserable. I didn't think I was walking around just scowling or anything. I thought I got, kind of got over that when I lost weight. But apparently I must have still not looked all that happy or there's some kind of major change with me that people are like, you just look so happy. You're just completely lit up. And the chick from EB Games, when she saw me and I told her I was with somebody, she went like this and like she had goosebumps and like her fucking arm hair was jetting out. She's like, oh my God, I just got chills so bad. And so I, uh, I was video chatting with, um, Josh as I do. And I turned the camera so she can meet him. And she's like, he's hot. He's smoking hot, which is a moment of pride for me. Of course. I was like, yeah, he is. <laughs> um, but he's also fucking sweet, sweet as hell, sweet as all hell. He's everything. And, um, that made me feel really good when they all told me that except for Logan, because Logan said it in a different way. He said, you know, in the time that I've seen you, cause he's come in and, and seen me talking to Josh, not very often. And when he comes in, I have, I put Josh on headphones and I put headphones, I put headphones in and I type because I don't want to be talking and kind of like feeling like I'm rubbing it in his face. So he doesn't hear our conversation as far as I know. And he said, I've seen you and you look so much happier with him than you've ever been in the whole time we've been married. And I was like, why do you say that? And he said, I can just tell like just a look on your face and you're smiling and you're happy and he seems really good for you. It seems like he could give you everything that I couldn't and I'm really happy for you. It just sucks that I wasn't able to be that person, but now I know even more we were never meant to be together. I could never make you smile like that. I could never do that for you. And I just see this difference in you that I never noticed. I don't think I've ever seen you that happy the entire time I've known you. And see, this has been my longest relationship. It's been almost six years. Usually my relationships end around four or five. And by that time, we're already like not living together and shit. And um, 
yeah, he's just like, I've never seen you this happy. And I told him I was actually holding back every time you're around. I don't just go at it. I, I stop it. And he said, well, then that's even worse then because I've never seen you. So just so smiling and content and you just, you're like a whole other person when you're talking to him. And I, I was just kind of floored by that. And that really kind of put things into perspective for me as well. Like if I'm visibly that happy, can you imagine what I feel inside just from talking to him and being with him? It's, it's just, it's just magic. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's, it's something I've never experienced and I don't want to let it go. I'm not going to let it go. And I, I trust him that he will not let it go because he is so, so adamant that this is that he loves me and he, he will cherish me forever and I could gain weight and I could be grosser and just this nasty pile of shit uh, I wouldn't do that to him but he uh he cares for me a lot and you can just tell in every word he writes and every word he speaks and the look in his eyes when he talks to me and he looks at the camera you know he just kind of you know Raven, oh my god, oh. even though he can't see me, I'm just like, oh, and um, when I finally do let him look at me and he just gets so flustered, just like, oh my god, you're so beautiful, oh my god, and I'm like, no, I'm fucking not, but you are, and, you know, he blushes all the time, I can make him blush so easy, I just have to compliment him and tell him how gorgeous he is, and, and then, like, he just, like, turns bright fucking red which is the most adorable thing ever and he watched the notebook with me without complaining like at all and he actually liked it like I said I want to watch the notebook and he's he's just like okay whenever you want to watch it and we're going to watch it together but I kind of really wanted to not test him but kind of share that with him and trial out his softer side huh well I get the soft side all the time anyway but I just wanted to see what he thought of it. And I didn't want to ugly cry in front of him because that movie always makes me cry. And I was like, well, if I watch it on the computer, we both like turn on Skype and then we watch it together. Um, he won't have to see me sitting there, like, you know, and, um, he actually liked it. And, uh, he, he is so much like Noah. Like he, it, it's just weird. I, I've never met anybody that was like that, but how Noah is in the notebook. Um, that's a lot of how, how Josh is, but without the fighting, we, we don't fight, we don't argue or anything like that. We've had like two misunderstandings and that's about it. And then his ex coming along trying to cause trouble because she's jealous. That was a pretty big thing, but he quickly that night proved to me she was lying. I'm not going to say how, because I don't know if he wants anybody to know, but I, I did find out that, um, she was like a mine and, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's not anything big, but still we're, we're doing pretty good. And, uh, I have high hopes for this one. He's just, he's everything I've ever wanted. And, um, I know he won't let me go and I know I'm not going to let him go. And a lot of you guys are supporting the breakup, which is, this really great. I really, really appreciate it because this is a tough time and we kind of really all need the support. Um, and, uh, when I get to America, again i i'm not gonna be online as much i will make update videos and if we go places not if when we go places i will i will video i've already told josh he's gonna be part of my online life but he already is but <clears throat> he doesn't mind so um we'll be having videos together we'll be having photos together things like that but i'm not gonna consistently be sitting online like i am now and um but there will be like a real life to watch finally instead of just kind of this sitting in my room and just talking I'll be out and I'll be doing stuff and I'll, I'll be I'll have I'll have everything like I'll have a life and I'll have fun and I'll have love and stability and everything I've always wanted and maybe if his family doesn't hate me too much I might actually have a family as well finally who doesn't judge me or just like me just because I'm with their son, but actually might like me as a person. That would be really great to finally get to have that. Cause I haven't had that before either. Um, but 
guess that's about it. I don't really know what else to say. Um, he's light. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to go freshen up. It's really fucking hot in here now. And um, I will talk to you guys later. If I see any bad comments on this, of course, as always, I will get rid of it because I know I know ignorant people just like to poke fun and try to say that, oh, Logan's suffering, Logan's suffering. Logan's not suffering. I have still asked him if he would want to try again. Not that I would leave Josh, but just kind of to see where his head is at. Do you regret this? Are you sure you're okay with this? Would you have taken it back? He says, no, every time he loves me, he misses me, he's sad, but the end decision he is still very happy with as am I so it just couldn't work but you know what we all get along and we can all be adults and be friends so I don't see why anybody online should have a problem with it um yeah that's just none none of anybody's business I guess but uh most people have been pretty cool so that's that's what I'm choosing to focus on and I will see you guys I'm not sure what the next update will be I have no idea kind of thinking about and I've run this idea through Josh as well, kind of thinking about making a split screen video for you guys so you can properly meet him. But I don't know if that's a good idea, if you guys are interested in that, or if I should just wait until I'm with him in person to do that. I don't know, because his camera's not so great. You need a new phone. <laughs> his camera's not so great, so it'll be kind of like laggy and slow. So I'm not really sure. Um, I've been asked already, like, when are you going to introduce him and all that stuff. And so um, I would like to. I wish he was here so I could introduce him properly. But we'll figure it out and stuff. And until then, I will see you guys around. Like I said, bye at the end. And I only talk for another like two minutes. So I'm getting better. <laughs> bye until next video.